Windows has finally addressed handhelds, but is it enough? Right, some of you might know this already, but there's a thing called Game Bar, and it reminds me of Windows 8, <laughs> because it's very similar to what was on that, essentially. I mean, we've all been wanting a handheld Windows experience that's a little bit easier to navigate. Now, don't get me wrong, I get a lot of hate in comments when I say to uninstall certain Windows jank and stuff, and people are like, you hate Windows. I don't hate Windows. It's what makes these devices amazing, but I don't disagree that there should be a more compact Windows experience, or at least get rid of the bloatware at the start, right? However, this, which is Windows Game Bar, which is a new update, is the compact mode, right? This is a new thing recently. Now, some of you might know this already because it was available to like influencers and stuff like that for, for a while. I think like, I don't know, Xbox ambassadors or something. I don't know. But anyway, now it's available for the public. So we're going to check it out. Now, I've always disabled game bar and i even think on the asus rog ally x it at least comes disabled out of the box now i've always been a bit like me you know it's extra resource hogging and stuff like that and there was never a compact mode before but now there is a compact mode aimed at helping windows handhelds like the rog ally x the lenovo legion go like all the ones that are available and all the ones that are coming out soon now i went into this with quite a lot of trepidation i was like oh i I'm not going to use this. This is going to be rubbish. And I remember looking at their blog post when they announced this a couple of months ago, thinking that doesn't look too good. But I hold my hands up in use. It's actually pretty good, but it certainly could be better. So what this does is it just aims to help navigating Windows that little bit easier whilst in games, right? I mean, it's called Game Bar for a reason. The whole idea is that you use this overlay because that's what it is. It's an overlay whilst you're in games. Now, you can use it whilst you're outside of games. So all this does is essentially launch when you press the Xbox button, if you're using that, or you can key bind it to whatever. But yeah, for me, I've been using an Xbox Series Elite 2, whatever they call it, controller. So it loads up all of the recent games that you've been playing. And if you're in a game, you can even cancel it if it's showing up. I have had a game before, I can't remember which one, but it just was not showing up that I was playing it. So I couldn't quit out, but most of them do show up there. Now at the bottom as well is some launchers. So all of this is quite handy to have whilst you're in Windows, right? You can load up and sign into Windows, press your Xbox button, and you can essentially just go straight from there. You could even bypass Armory Crate or whatever software that your Windows handheld is using and literally just use game bar but there's a problem because it doesn't show you all games there's no way of showing all games either it's just like your most recently played but you could launch there and at the very bottom there is all your launchers as well so you can just essentially launch steam from there you know xbox whatever you might want down at the bottom then you've got your xbox friends list where you can you know set up chat and stuff like that there's an audio mixer which i think is pretty handy which will let you essentially tailor the volume of the game or your headphones or your microphone all that kind of stuff so it does split it like a virtual mixer which i do like rather than just having like a master volume for everything so you can totally just hit that button mid game and adjust some levels on the fly there's even an xbox achievement thing so if you're playing an xbox game it will actually pop up showing you the achievements for that game and you'll progress through them or you can click on them and see like what you need to do to get there so if you're a massive achievement hunter this this is totally going to be for you that's really cool what i do like is that it shows you your performance so you essentially have like the performance tab from doing control alt delete and go into the task manager and you can see you know your cpu usage your gpu usage and all that kind of stuff please ignore mine if you're looking at it going why is the ram like maxed out at like 0.4 gigabytes i've set all my ram allocation to the cpu because i've been using an eGPU. so just don't worry about it if you're interested make sure you subscribe to the channel <laughs> so yeah just ignore those numbers but yeah so i do quite like that you can pull that up and just see how your system is performing in that game if there is like a, a bit of a bottleneck you know if the cpu is maxed out or if the gpu is maxed out if your ram is maxed out maybe you, you've done what i've done and allocated too much to the cpu and you've forgotten and you're wondering why the game is like not working so well you can just hit this pull it up and check it out and then go oh yeah i need to reallocate my vram right that's pretty cool now the one thing i really like actually is the resource tab now this isn't up by default you have to go over to the far right and basically 
to scroll down and hit resource, but this will then show you what's resource hogging in the background. So all the processes that's in the background. So again, you might have like Google Chrome running in the background that you forgot to close. You can go here and go, oh, that's, you know, hogging all my resources and you can just close it there and then end task. Brilliant. Really like that. And again, it just shows you what's up and running in the background. Again, really handy feature, actually. Pretty cool. Now there is a widget section as well, like a storefront and they're free. Some of them are not free, but you can just go through. To be honest, I've not bothered with any of that because I'm, I'm kind of just using this here and there. I'm not like fully invested into Game Bar, you know, I've just been testing this out. There's a bunch of other stuff on there as well. And it's fairly handy. But the thing is, you can't reorganize the tabs. You can't set the default tabs either. And you have to actually enable, I should have said this at the beginning, you actually have to enable compact mode on the first time that you load it up, right? So you have to go to settings to enable Game Bar. So let's just run through that now. You go to settings on Windows, you go down to gaming, and then at the top there be a thing called game bar and there's a toggle on and off right toggle that on and then you can assign the key for it or whatever but it's just default to the xbox button on your controller so press the xbox button go all the way to the settings wherever that is and then you have to enable compact mode and then you will start seeing what i've just been explaining to you sorry i should have said that to begin with right but whatever so yeah what annoys me is that you can't reorder the default apps at the top. And again, resources, which I always like open, doesn't just stay open. You have to go find it and click on it. And then for that session, at least, it will then remain open. You can just scroll to it, but I don't like that you can't reorder them. And I don't like that you can't like take away ones that are open by default. I don't care about the like Xbox friends list thing. I know that's cool, but like, you know, I just want to at least move it somewhere else or just take it off and then open it when I need it. And the other thing is, is that it doesn't show you all the games installed. So you can't really use this as your like one and done like interface. You know, it only shows you the first like five of your last played games. And like I said, some games don't even show there. But the good thing is, is if you're actually in a game, you can pull up Spotify through one of those widgets it's to save you from basically alt tabbing back to the desktop or just outright cancelling the game, right? And then having Spotify open or whatever. It's quite handy and easy to navigate. It looks good on both docked mode and on the handheld mode. Now I've just been showing you docked mode just because I thought it'd be a bit easier to capture, but it actually is handy to use. You know, game power is pretty good. Now, I haven't tested how much of a resource hog it is, so I'm not too sure if it's going to be like an impact to performance. I can't imagine it being too much of an impact, but I don't know. If you know more, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, so this is kind of like a pretty neat feature where they're trying to make it easier for handheld users to navigate and stuff. And again, this excels when you're in a game. Hit the Xbox button, and then you've got all this really easily accessible. And I do like that. Now, I hope this isn't like <laughs> all Microsoft are thinking that they're going to do and that would be all that they need to do, you know? I really do think they should at least offer some sort of Xbox style UI interface for Windows that you could enable, right? So set it all up as Windows as like standard or maybe give you an option when you boot the device to start with, say, hey, do you want to use this as a PC? Because plenty of people do, you know? I use my Ally Docked a lot. I've been using this whole eGPU thing a lot, but it'd be quite cool on initial startup if they're was like default windows with all the jank, you know, one drive and all that rubbish, Microsoft 365, like trials and all that, not an antivirus. I don't know, <laughs> but you know, just like bog standard windows and then a different option that says, do you want like gaming mode, which would then essentially turn it into like an Xbox dashboard style for the people that just don't care about using Windows in a way that would be more like a PC. Now, again, I'm not bashing Windows at all. I personally love having full Windows because it gives you total freedom. I love it, but it'd be really cool if you could at least switch out between a more compact mode because I know that's people's number one gripes going through all of our comments and even people in our private discord and stuff. If they're, you know, if you're a member, then you can join us there. But yeah, lots of people have been complaining about that as well. And I just think it'd be really cool if windows start up in the game with something like that to tie in with Xbox even, because I mean, this whole game bar thing feels very Xboxy and I do like that, but I feel like there just needs to be a whole system wide, like compact mode to navigate like that. Like let us turn on windows and sign in 
in with a controller. Now, if you're interested in that, I've got a video up already about just that. I found a way to do that and how to make your Xbox controller or just any controller, basically a keyboard and mouse input, and it will switch then into like a controller mode when you boot a game. So if you're interested, check out the video. I'll have it linked down below. But yeah, I think it should be a native thing to Windows that you can just literally press and hold the Xbox button and it will boot your device or whatever and then let you sign in that way. That would be so cool because at the minute, if you don't use the the trick that I showed you in another video, then you are you basically have to do it in the handheld mode and then dock it or use an external keyboard and mouse and that kind of thing. Now, again, I just think it would be really cool if they could make a more slim-lined version of Windows or just an Xbox mode or something for people that would really want that more console-like experience. Again, I'm an advocate for Windows, I am, but I definitely don't like the setup forcing you to look at OneDrive and all that kind of stuff. I don't care about that. And the good thing is, is Windows, if we wanted that, it is Windows. You can just go and download it. Like, you know, just, just install it if that's what you want. But most people are buying these gaming devices for a gaming system and they want it more like a, a, a nice, easy experience, not having to go through and disable like bloatware that Windows throws at you like off the cusp, right? But anyway, overall, I think Game Bar is a pretty good step in the right direction. I genuinely think it's useful in game. Very cool that you can see the performance tab and your resource tag. That's my like number one thing for me. And the fact that you can quit games out that way or load up Spotify or some other sort of widget that you want. I, I do like it. And I went into this thinking that this is going to be rubbish. Come out thinking, actually, this is pretty cool. The only questions over my head are like the resource side. I need to just test some games and stuff and see is there actually like a noticeable performance hit just by having this running in the background, right? But yeah, I don't think it's going to replace something like Armory Crate from Asus. I don't. But using it in conjunction with, then yeah, like I, I think this is a pretty good step in the right direction. I just hope Windows continue to develop for the handheld scene, but since it's becoming more and more of a thing. Anyway, enough rambling. What do you think about Windows Game Bar? Have you been using compact mode yourself or were you not even aware of this? Let me know down in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, subscribe. If you want to support the channel, become a member and you can get access to our private Discord. You can see these videos early. You can chat to me and AJ, obviously, in the Discord. And talking of AJ, check out our podcast where we talk about all things gaming and a lot about Windows handhelds <laughs> or just handheld gaming in general, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Bye.